Okay, is this thing... Is this thing even on right now? Uh, I can't... Howdy. Okay, so you guys already know who I am, obviously. But what in the heck are we doing today? Well, let's be honest about it. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to properly survive when you're lost in the woods. So step number one, it's a pretty simple one. You're gonna need to assess your surroundings. Look around. What do you have around you? What's like, what's in the immediate area? Ow! Step two, is there water? Well, we have a river. Yeah. And obviously, step number three is shelter. What are we gonna do about that? I have no idea. I almost forgot the third thing. Fire. And I forgot about food. Don't forget about food. Food is number four or five. Food is important. Don't, did I say food already? I don't know, but I feel like I'm being watched right now. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm lost, but I don't know where I'm at. All right. So I found a pretty good spot actually. Um, it's fallen down tree. So this should be good enough to make some kind of shelter out of. All right, so I've been looking at this for about two hours now and I think I think nature has blessed us at least a little bit. We already have a shelter kind of pre-made for us. I mean, the more I look at it, the more I'm realizing that this is waterproof and windproof. Now, realistically, all I have to do is slide up underneath here, lay down, and I'm good. But as long as I have that covering me, and I've got dry leaves, good. I am good. So now that we have step one taken care of, which is shelter, of course. And like I said, I mean, nature's been pretty good to us. This is a pretty good shelter in my opinion, honestly. I could have swore I heard a Sam squanch in the distance. All right, so I've done some walking around, kind of foraging for food, and um, I found something. Those are hot Cheetos, baby. A lot of you may not understand, hot Cheetos actually grow from the ground, kind of like a potato or a carrot. <laughs> the more you know. I found more. <clears throat> Nature's bounty. I'm looking at this water down here. I can probably drink that. I don't know how long I'm gonna live after I drink it, but I'm sure I can drink it. As you can see, there's a lot of chickens out there. Now really all I have to do is find some pretty flexible wood and I could probably have a bow and arrow in the next 20, 30 minutes or so. I might, I might be able to call that dinner. The more you know. See this big hole in the side here? Um, in fact, a lot of you may not know this, but holes like this is usually caused by your mom. I found some powdered poop. A lot of you may not know, but you can eat that. It tastes nothing like a powdered donut, and understand that one can likely kill you, and the other is a tasty treat. I see something in the distance, actually. Okay, so this is just beautiful. So you know that Monster Energy drinks that you guys like so much? Ah, uh, this one isn't ripe yet. This is a monster tree. They actually grow on these little, like, vine-like twigs. If this is ripe, it should be able to pop right off, but I'll come back in a couple days and check on that. Do you see what I see? This is likely the eye from a chupacabra. They're very abundant in this area. I've got to be careful. I've got to be very careful. This is not a good sign. All right, so that was the craziest experience. I'm just standing here in the middle of nowhere and I smelled cologne. Heavy. I don't think I'm alone out here. So here's something pretty interesting. A lot of you probably didn't know. This is a land-dwelling clam. So a lot of you may think that you can find them out here in the water or in the mud. You'd be completely wrong. It's a very unique mammal. 
So things out here can become very stressful and scary. That's why I like to carry this around. It's very therapeutic. So I never go anywhere without my ferro rod. So most people believe taking a knife and the ferro rod and making sparks is the best way to make a fire. I'm here to tell you that it is completely wrong. And everybody who has ever taught you to use one of these is likely wrong too. Let me show you the proper way. We all know that if you take a knife and a ferro rod and strike it, you can make sparks, right? Wrong. All you need is the ferro rod itself. You take it and you just smack the ground really hard. We're getting something. Hold on. A couple more times and I should have flame. Oh, we're starting to get smoke here. Gotta keep hitting it. And there we go. We have fire. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See? All you have to do is hit it real hard. Oh, oh God. You don't need a knife. You don't need a rock. You don't need a lighter. Just one of these bad boys. That's it. I've been gouging out the side of this tree trying to find grubs or ants or uh, any other little creepy crawlies. However, all I'm really finding here is disappointment, like my life. Alright, so I decided to abandon camp because that pre-made shelter probably is not going to work for me. However, on the way in here, I found some material where I can probably construct something even better than what was over there. Plus, looking at the sky, it's likely going to rain soon. See these little things growing off this plant here, or the stick? This is a Brussels sprout. Looks like your mom's been here again. Oh my god. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? <sighs> oh man, I can finally rest. This actually took me about four hours. Now I've got plenty of space in here to lay down, put all my gear, and it should be rainproof, waterproof, and windproof. I was able to collect some sticks, some more of those clam shells, uh, some aluminum cans that I found laying around. I used some mud and some river stones as well. I found a big rock and I was able to crush down the stone and crush down the aluminum cans into what you see here. Now believe me, I tried everything that I possibly could to try to teach you everything that I know. Now I'm really hoping that you learned something from this video. But honestly, after everything that I've been through today, I need to lay down and take a nap. We'll see you in the next one.